Today, we're exploring how to use the cross-section view in Simplify 3D. The cross-section view can be useful anytime you want to see inside of your model. For example, if there was a hollow cavity or internal features or anything that you can't see from the outside of the part, this tool would come in handy. This can also be helpful to spot any mesh errors within your model. To show you how this feature works, I'm first going to import a big cube. The cross-section view can be enabled by going to View, Cross-Section, or by clicking this icon on the right toolbar. So let's walk through the different controls in this window. Use the checkbox next to Enable Cross-Section to toggle the view on and off. You can use the reverse cross-section view to change which side of the cross-section we're showing. So right now we're showing the bottom section of the cube, but if we click reverse, now we're seeing the top section of the cube. And finally we have positioning. Think of the cross-section as a plane that's slicing your model in two. These radio buttons control along which axis the plane is moving. So right now I have the Z axis selected, and if I move the slider, you can see that the cross-section is moving in the z-axis. You can do the same in the y-axis or in the x-axis. You'll notice that as I move the slider, the plane goes to one side of the build plate all the way to the other. You could also type in a number here if you need a more exact position. For example, I might need to cross-section this model at exactly 130 millimeters on the x-axis. If you close out of the window, the cross-section view goes away. So now we've summed up all of the settings in the cross-section view window. And now we're going to take a closer look at the model itself. As we've discussed in a previous video, a 3D model consists of a bunch of triangles. Turning on the wireframe view allows you to see this very clearly. In this case, there are two triangles on each side of the cube, totaling 12 triangles in all. The triangles come together at the edges to form surfaces, and if those surfaces are completely enclosed, the software sees that as a solid model. For example, this is a solid cube, since it's made up of a completely enclosed surface. So if we cross-section it, and in this case let's cross-section it across the z-axis, we're really just cutting through the surface that represents the solid. So even though it might look hollow inside, that's just because you're seeing inside the surfaces that define the model. So this is a normal way for a solid model to look. So now let's look at a model that isn't solid all the way through. I'm going to import a 10-sided shape called a dodecahedron. Let's go ahead and slice it first so you can see what it would look like if we actually printed it. As we drag our previewer slider down, you can see that this part is actually hollow on the inside. And we would never have been able to tell that just by looking at the model. So let's go back and examine it with the cross-section tool. So as we cut through this, you can see that there's actually two surfaces, one for the outer boundary of the part and one for the internal cavity. Now if these internal surfaces weren't here, this would be recognized as a solid object. So now you understand why the cross-section tool can be so useful, especially for getting an inside look at the models you're going to print.